today I am actually making a lasagna, lasagna, or in Tagalog, lasagna, I'm joking, but I'm um, doing the onions, let me show you, onions and the garlic, um, let's make it not really like super brown, You can see this is I don't have a video brother so I'm doing it by my own as you can see so the next thing I do is to put the beef So that's it. So I'm just mixing it up. So I'm just mixing it up and I'm gonna put some salt and everything on it. making the stuffing of the lasagna lasagna and I pour the tomato this is a uh, in a canned tomato That's using a ricotta, this one, and we are, and I put parsley and some egg and ricotta and a little bit salt, so that's all. And then I will refrigerate it until the lasagna is ready to do. One is actually need to cook for four hours. Can you believe that? So, as you can see, that need to be cooked for four hours. So don't forget to stir it. Maybe you will forget to stir it, but I taste it. It's really delicious. Preparing the lasagna to go after four hours later. So that's the lasagna we're using and noodles, lasagna noodles. And then this is gonna cook for four hours. I'm just gonna, I did throw a lot of stuff in there, like 
healthy stuff. Even though I'm eating a uh, this one, so that's this is only once a week for us, so it's good. So just the heat is just low, and then we're just gonna wait for four hours. Okay, guys. Ciao. See you soon again. What do you call this cheese, baby? Mozzarella. Mozzarella. Ricotta. Ricotta cheese. Parmesan. This. Fresh grape. Ricotta. That hurt a little. Hot, hot. That was slightly painful. That's my chef. I have personal chef here, guys. You're yep. jealous. You're my, <laughs> my sous chef. Baby. So he's doing the first coat. Layer. A layer. It's not paint. <laughs> Why I say coat? It's just in my mind, so. Do a layer of noodles over the, the meat texture. It's yummy, yummy, yummy. That one is really good, guys. You should try it at home. Homemade food is really good for your health. And my chef is doing it while we're having our wine. Wine at the night because this is how we do it. This is, what we do. this is how we do it. I'm waiting for him to put the cheese. So he's gonna put the ricotta. Ricotta. Dryer is so noisy. That's my professional chef doing the food. He's my chef, my lover. Say that? My chef, my lover. <laughs> Did you just say that? <laughs> mozzarella. Mozzarella. A lot of it because we love cheese. We don't actually. We just have it. It's just good in this. Really. Occasionally. Yeah, like once. A once in a blue moon. Yeah. And brown very much. Well, I'll tell you one thing I do different is I'm gonna try to do more layers, like an extra layer, as many noodle layers as I possibly can. Because I think yeah, but I don't want to be like the what do you call that? Um, overflow. It's a good point. We should probably put like a tray under this. Hand. Yeah, like what you did before. Yeah. Now you remind me that that's what we did. Slap him, Moko! Mapagbi begin! So if I just make the layers thin, then. Put the noodles, needles. Careful, Holly! Holly, you should go to the... He's getting done!
I'm so excited, guys. We started this like three hours ago, four hours ago. Yeah. It's totally worth it, man. Pardon me? Totally worth it, guys. It's so good when it's done. And then I think you put cheese on the top, am I right? One more layer of noodles and then cheese is done. Skyler Goose! Sige, Joy, baka matay dun mo! Sige! Sige! One more layer and cheese. The oven. We're using a meow. What do you call that? Me. Meow. Meow. And it should be in 375. Ta da! Let's wait. Oops. Yum. I want two slice. Oh, let's start getting one out. I'm gonna work on the second. This one will be messy. It's all right. We should actually let it cool for about 10 minutes. But... Yeah, but the kids are hungry. I wanna feed them. I request a leave of absence. Yum! Yum! Okay, why don't you start with that? Let's let the rest cool. Cheesy, look at that cheese. So I would say this is really yummy. Very yummy. Very yummy.